Hello everyone. Um, hope you're all well. Um, I'm walking along Lee Front successfully putting a little baby to sleep. Um, so God reminded me that uh, to do this little video about my favourite verse. Um, I haven't written anything down but it can't be too hard, can I? Um, my favourite verse is John uh, chapter 16 verse 33 and it says, uh, Jesus says, in this world you will have trouble but take heart, I have overcome the world and that has always meant such an incredible it's such an incredible thing uh, to me because it's, it's, it's this huge promise and it's not a, like a nice happy promise it's this really quite a negative one um, with Jesus promising us that we're going to go through some really hard times and I think we can uh, <laughs> I think we can all agree that we're going through quite a tough time in the middle of a possible like second round of a massive pandemic um, so I think Jesus was completely right that we will and are going through trouble um, and this trouble can look can look different in many ways from a huge pandemic to the smallest things in our lives but However big the trouble is, if it's in your life, it's, it means something. It's a lot of trouble. Um, but what I find fascinating about this, which um, just shows the character of Jesus. Well, firstly, he's just on the... Just looking at, at him, it was at the time, he was just like one man. But he was one man that was totally connected and totally in love with God with his father but he knew he was different when he said I have overcome the world that's a massive statement that's overcome the world that's overcome the trouble every trouble that has ever existed small or big pandemic no pandemic he's overcome it and he said that before the cross and we know full well that the whole thing was about the cross. The cross made a way for us to connect back to him and to overcome these things. And sometimes it's not, it doesn't look like overcoming it. It looks like living through it. Um, but the main reason why I want to put across this video is that <laughs> it's, it says there will be trouble but overcome but he will overcome the he will overcome all of it. And as I said, we're in we're going into winter now where people aren't sure what's gonna come next. There's gonna be possible another possible lockdown where it's gonna be so tough for a lot of people and a lot of countries. But God has overcome it, overcome everything. I'm saying that and I'm repeating that because about an hour ago, me and my mum just baptised someone. <laughs> and we, <laughs> it just says that, like, I'm just, I'm just walking along um, from the baptism um, um, of this guy that we've known, must be a few months. He's painter and decorator for my mum. And um, he just saw some of the things, like saw how they lived, and he always he's always known about God. But he thought I might ask them a few questions, and um, um, he said he wants to get baptised. And just just to see someone change and to become baptised during a time there where there's effectively it's you can't there's not much church going on it's it's harder every day this pandemic is just is awful and the fact that in the middle of that god is still 
bringing people to him. I think the baptism was lovely. It was, not many people know about it uh, because the guy came baptised. He just wanted to play it down a bit. He had his closest friends and, friends and family around and that's what counted. Um, it was just stunning. This. I don't know this. <laughs> just painter and decorator Jack the Lad. Just great guy. I love him to pieces. Just, uh, yeah, just dunking him down and watching him come up and just... And we could sense the presence of God was there. All over it. Me and my mum were just in tears and it was just a powerful moment. And sometimes... Um, we think that God's doing something different or doing something extra and actually some, obviously sometimes he is but in amongst this painful time he ain't moving God is not moving oh, walking across oh, he is not moving he's that good he stays good just walking past the height the on the main high street and I'm crying talking to a video um, but God is not moving he's not budging the pandemic will not overthrow God God will overthrow the pandemic it's simple as God is still good he is still present nothing has changed God and nothing will change him so take heart today and amongst this pandemic God has performed a baptism and brought another son to him. More family, more church. I love you guys. Bye.